that time once again when we delve into the world of the AF for another of our alcohol-free first days. And when it comes to AF beers, there's only really one name in the game. So I'm very happy to welcome back to the channel, The Mash Gang. Alcohol-free extraordinaires, The Mash Gang, have absolutely terraformed the craft beer world adding a real air of FOMO and excitement to what was once a barren landscape, and turning alcohol-free beers into something cool and something you really want to get your hands on. And today we have their American-style Pilsner. Stoop, crisp and refreshing. Imagine a macro lager with a glow-up, a bright white head with soft lacing and mild to high mousse-like carbonation, aromas of champagne and elderflower with just a little hint of kush, a clean assertive bitterness, an effervescent acidity, and more than a subtle hint of a cool climate Sauvignon Blanc with a brisk, dry but full mouthfeel, carefully controlled with young white oak aging, which adds both mana protein and oak tannins helping to enhance the structure and mouthfeel, giving the beer a greater complexity and aromatic intensity. And as they say here on the side of the can, kicking it old school, heavily influenced by our love for 80s dad beers, taking a traditionally mass-produced beer and injecting a bit of love and attention, lightly hopped and aged in oak for a refreshing dry finish. This throwback lager isn't going to win any awards, but it's a slab of crushable crisp void. And I've got to admit, that definitely does sound infinitely more interesting than your bog-standard lager, hopped with the Galaxy, the Nelson, and the lesser-known Styrian Wolf, a Slovenian hop that's known for being a little on the tropical side. So should work real well with that Galaxy, but it can be quite floral too, with notes of elderflower and lemongrass. So those could very well complement that Sylvignon white grape note of the Nelson. And as most of you may have picked up already, I'm not much of a lager man. But when it comes to AF, it is the lagers that seem to have made that transition almost seamlessly over to the AF world. And with the previous Mash Gang offerings, I'm expecting this to be right on point. So let's crack a cold one. Let's get pouring. Wow, so it's really floral on the nose. And really sweet too. Getting a lot of that white grape, a lot of that elderflower, and a subtle tropical note in there as well. It really doesn't have the nose you'd expect from a classic Pilsner. And to be fair, it's a little on the hazy side too, so it doesn't look classic either. But I tell you what, it does smell beautiful. And it is real floral on the tongue. It's got a good tropical layer to it too. And that elderflower really does pack out the middle. And there is a subtle crispness to it, but by the standards of your traditional lagers and pilsners, it is what you'd call very, very mild. And although there is a little bitterness and a little citrus in that finish, it is predominantly quite sweet. Which again, not something you're typically going to find in most Pilsners. And although it does have a fullness in the mouth up top, it is quite silky. It does have a real watery feel in those middles. And it does fade out with just that tinge of carbonic acid. And now we're down.
down into the final third. I've got to admit, a pilsner is definitely not what it's bringing to mind. A classic American style pale, maybe, but definitely not anything lagered. Which, to be fair, is a-okay with me. And a lot of that early sweetness has now faded off as that dry white grape and that floral elderflower are really dominating the brew. And we are just starting to get a little feel of that white oak. It's giving the beer a real interesting smoothness and subtle woody note. Quite a surprising addition, really, but one that's really quite pleasant too. I've got to admit, if it was canned as anything other than a pilsner, it might sneak through another star or two. As it is, real beautiful to drink. It's just not, well, really much of a pilsner. 